Aloha everybody, welcome back. Mahalo for watching. And if you're new here, my name is Gabe. And we're going to check out Fisher 11 and Fisher 12. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell symbol to get notifications. I love all your comments, so hopefully you'll comment below. And I hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up. Please share this video. Stay tuned. Oh! I almost sunk in right there. Whew, you guys can't see anything, huh? It's too steep. Gotta get out of here. Can't stay here too long. It's too hot. Oh my goodness, it's way hot. Steam bath. Okay, it's a little steamy on the lens. But trust me, you don't want to try this at home. <laughs> okay, there we go, clear it up. Now, let's walk across this log. Check out the lava drip. Isn't that really cool? It's like an icicle or something. It drips. And it got frozen like, or cooled like that. It's cooled like in a teardrop. That's really cool. Wow. Closer look. Nice. Lava drip. <laughs> Interesting. Really cool formations. Lava drip on the lava flow. Huh, cool. And we are looking at Fisher 12. This is part of the recent Kilauea lava eruption in Leilani Estates. And you can see that there's not a whole lot of lava that came out of Fisher 12. We'll check it out, see what we can see. There's a lot of steam coming from this fissure. That's typical in the morning time. This is probably just morning dew being evaporated, turning into steam, because these cracks are still hot. I am standing on a lava fissure. And this was active, oh geez, about three months ago. Maybe a little bit longer. And this is the one I was really watching Number 10, number 12, number 11 were the fishers I was really concerned about. They're the closest to my house and my homestead. So I was watching these very carefully, especially Fisher 10. Wow, what a beautiful morning. It's kind of eerie, huh, with this steam and the trees, all the dead trees. Wow, amazing. I found something interesting. Here's a lava tree mold. Isn't that pretty cool? Wow, lava just wrapped around the tree. Check out this sulfur collecting on this tree. It's pretty cool. And then, oh, that's got all steamy.
Uh, that help? Yeah. Here's some more sulfur on a tree. It's gathering right there, just collecting. And it's from this area right here. This lava tree mold. Interesting, huh? Wow. Here's a big lava tree. Big hole right there. You don't know how deep that is. And that's one of the dangers here on the lava flow. And this was always a danger, even before this particular lava flow. There's always holes in the ground. And people use these holes for outhouses in the jungle. I mean, even in my property, you know, in the jungle, there's big holes like that from previous lava flows from, you know, a hundred years ago. So you gotta always be careful when you're walking around. That was a hot one right there. That was a hot. You can see all the moisture from the steam. Wow. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna very carefully try to get across to Fisher 11 and check out Fisher 11. There we go, clear it up. Now, let's walk across this log. Whew. And the reward is Fisher 11. Look at that. Here's a great example of a lava tree. See that and then this tree is still here it molded around the base of the tree to create this formation this mold interesting let's look inside it see how deep that is Oh, that's pretty deep. You can't see the bottom. Oh, I, I can see the bottom kind of. It looks to be about four or five feet. So, yeah. Great specimen to show you how lava trees are formed. right in the middle of the fissure and here's a lava tree Ooh, that was hot right there. Hot. Hot. This is the one you don't want to fall in. It's a big hole. Oh, oh. 
whoa, whoa. I almost fell in it. <laughs> The old man still got it. I haven't lost my sense of balance. Yeah, I balanced like a circus act. <laughs> probably an easier way to get through this, but I'll probably take the hard way. Knowing me, wow, so hot. That was Fisher 11 and 12. I had a gas mask, there was no SO2, the USGS has been monitoring the SO2 levels and it's the lowest at any point uh, that they've been recording so it's almost non-detectable so that was awesome and it was all steam so I want to thank you all for your concern and your thoughts and prayers. Just thank you, I was safe, I think the biggest danger was walking in the jungle, I almost fell through a hole, I could do that at my house, I'm on the jungle, which, uh, you know, in the jungle, uh, on an old lava flow, which I could fall in a puka, a hole, you know, those, those uh, tree, uh, lava trees, right, at any time, and when the moss and the roots and the leaves cover those holes, that's when it's really dangerous, it's almost safer walking on the fresh uh, lava flow, really. So, I just want to thank you all. I'm safe. I got, you know, little cuts and scrapes, but not a big deal. And like I was saying, that was from walking in the jungle, not on the lava. So it was interesting. It was the first time I've been down there. So I was uh, excited to see that place. Hope you guys liked this video. Please comment. I'll answer any questions that I can. <sighs> wow, amazing time, right? Please subscribe and hit that bell symbol if you haven't already. And until next time, a hooey ho until next time and a hooey ho it's the same thing so there you go